It's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure! I need three Philly goats. Archie, yep. Luca, you in? Yeah! Tell us the story of the three Philly goats gruff. Gruff! Three Philly goats gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that! Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goats spied a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins, you feed the troll. Oh, oh my! The three billy goats gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little billy goat gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. As the billy goat trip trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said, Who's not trip trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you! <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws! It's only me, a baby goat. I'm skinny. You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, beat it, kid. <laughs> now, middle goat was next to cross, and off he went trip chop. But on the bridge, the troll appeared. There's a tasty chap. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that sweet <sighs> green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm almost skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball. Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> So the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's big billy goat, you hairy monster. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you go to cross my path. My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns <laughs> and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge. Never to be seen again. So now I'll see my brothers do and we'll eat until we're fat. We tricked that troll with a plan, you see. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <gasps> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Sorry, Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope 
I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. <laughs> oh, please. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> well, I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> ba -da 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 -ba -da -ba -da well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice mousey. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that always sets you free. So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Once upon a time... No, wait! Okay, do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time... Three little bears went out to play I'll build a house of straw today Said one little bear and just like that He built that house and then he took a nap but a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Instead of straw Out to play went two little bears My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear and just like that He built that house and then he took a nap But once again that mean old wolf woke him up I'm a big bad wolf and I see you there Open the door little bear beware oh, damn. He pounded the door Let me come in Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been <laughs> We're going to have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks. Said the third little bear and just like. 
like that, she filled that house and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up! I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there! Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin! Then I'll huff, then I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in! And he tried, and he tried, and he tried again! <gasps> Sheesh! Get a hold of yourself! <gasps> Did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh, Daddy. Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans. Whoa. And they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow. Jack went home to show his mom. But when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans? Oh, my. She cried. But, but, mom. Magic. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high, and found a castle in, in the, the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the heavens and the clouds. I fall from a small hub boy Yum, yum, yum! was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! He said, the giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little house. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Feed five, four, four, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Feed five, four, four, ready or not, here I come. Uh, uh, oh, yikes. <gasps> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops. <laughs> Wrong story. Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white little hand. Bah, bah. Even grabbed a singing harp. And climbed down that stalk again. La la. But the giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off. Never, Never ever to be found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast, and neighbors came from near and far. The harp played songs and sang along. Jack, you are a shining star. Jack, you are a star. 
So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs. Oh, but you could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Yeah. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit. Grand for a short little spell. Now remember, don't talk to any strangers. <gasps> I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> The wolf sneaked into Grandma's place I'll hide you so there's not a trace He locked her in, got into bed With Granny's nightcap on his head Help me! Poor Granny cried Why come in, dear? Why, Granny? Said Red and she walked right in Oh, I've been wondering how you've been <laughs> I'm, I'm okay But she sounded weird uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth you have. The better, my dear, to eat you with. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Say that to my the better to eat you with. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends! Uh, Now, what's the moral of the story? <gasps> Never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> 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 <laughs>